Amen. Well, thank you so much, uh, Jeremiah, chapter one, for uh, sharing uh, communion. Um, at this time in the service, uh, our dear sister Emma uh, will be sharing uh, about contribution. And she asked me to read this passage in Matthew chapter 13, verse 45. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. I give you Emma Brown. Hi, family. I'm sorry. I'm crying already. Um, as most of you know, uh, my name is Emma, and I moved to New York um, almost exactly five years ago. Uh, in about a month, it'll be, have been five years. And, um, you know, I moved here with the dream of making it in the fashion industry. Um, as many of you know, I am um, a fashion designer at Calvin Klein. And really, God provided just the, the job of my dreams um, for the time that I was here. And... Um, he just provided so many answered prayers um, the entire time that I'm, I was here. But um, almost, uh, actually just a few weeks after I moved to New York, um, this was a time in my life that I was really uh, looking for God. I was um, struggling with my faith. I was struggling with having a belief in God. And um, I was on the subway train. I think I was on the one train. I was definitely on the one, two, three line somewhere. <laughs> um, and someone walked up to me. Um, he was a little grungy, he had a skateboard. <laughs> Most of you know him, Nick Infantino. <laughs> um, and he just opened his mouth and we started talking about, um, you know, the book that I was reading and um, you know, he was sharing his faith with me, and he actually gave me this sharing card. I found it a couple days ago. <laughs> um, and <laughs> this is how I found the kingdom of God. <laughs> like, uh, I literally texted him <laughs> this number that <laughs> he shared with me, and, um, you know, I didn't realize it at the time that that that's what I was being introduced to, you know, that I had found the kingdom. Um, and I really love this um, parable. I looked up the most valuable pearl in the world is worth at least $100 million. Um, and it was found by a fisherman who um, just happened upon it. And he... Um, he took it back because he, he didn't realize there was a pearl inside of it. This thing is massive, though. It's like two feet long or something. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Um, but he found the pearl, and then he put it under his bed because he didn't search out the value of the pearl. He didn't realize what it was worth. Um, he literally would... He kept it for good luck for fishing, so he would just like touch the pearl uh, before he went fishing. And it was about 10 years after that that he decided to dig into how valuable the pearl was um, wow. and to search, for, to search for what it was actually worth. Um, and of course it was much more than he thought it was. Um, and I think in the same way, I didn't, see the true value of the kingdom for so long, um, how precious it was um, for so long. I was around the kingdom, and I felt like someone who was like keeping it under my bed as my good luck charm. Like I would come when I, when I needed to be filled up, or I needed some luck. Um, but I never really dug into how valuable the kingdom of God was. Um, and it took me a while, you know, spending time around the kingdom to really see um, really just how invaluable, you know, the kingdom is. 
um, I found that the kingdom um, and why Jesus con considers this place so precious um, is because there's people here who love God more than anything else in their lives. Um, they prioritize the spiritual over material um, possessions and are willing to give up anything for the kingdom. Um, you know, I found people here. I found my closest friendships here, my very best friends, and I got to have deeper friendships than I've ever had in my life. Um, I got to have pure relationships um, between men and women. I got to date purely. Um, I've been dating purely for over a year in the kingdom of God. And I found my salvation, um, which is just, I'm so grateful for. Um, and now I'm going to the kingdom of Bahrain, which is also nicknamed uh, the Island of Pearls. And um, they have just a... Uh, I guess a rich, like, clam, I don't, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but <laughs> there's a lot of pearls um, in the islands of Bahrain. And, you know, when I think about going there, I think about how there are so many other pearls, so many souls that are needed to be found. Um, and it's in a region that is, you know, majority uh, Muslim. And this is what the kingdom is all about, you know, is um, when I think about the, all the things in the past that I put before the kingdom of God, looking back, none of it was ever worth it, you know. And so um, I think I have to remember that as I, you know, go to Bahrain now on this mission team that... Um, saving these lost souls is the only thing that matters. It's the only thing that's important. And I can now say that, you know, I haven't, I haven't appreciated missions um, in the same way that I do now, you know. Um, just thinking about the impact that I would get to have in a nation that is so lost. Um, and so... Um, you know, I would never be able to purchase uh, the $100 million pearl no matter what I did, you know, no matter how much I saved or how much I spent my life working to buy this, this pearl. Um, and really, I could never do anything to have earned getting to experience the kingdom of God. Um, but I know that every day I want to do my best and give my best. Um, to be able to keep the pearl that I found in the kingdom. Um, and so I just want to encourage all of you to think about, you know, the treasure that you have in the kingdom. Um, and just remember that as you give today, as you give your contribution, as you think about missions, um, do you see the kingdom as a fine pearl? And are you willing to give all that you have for it? So thank you so much for letting me share, and I love you all.